To be able to provide fresh food for Antarctic explorers, people in the desert, or even on future manned space missions, we first need to fine-tune the growing technology. And that's when a German aerospace engineered greenhouse in Antarctica comes in handy. Thanks to this guy, scientists are growing tomatoes, salads, radishes, cucumbers and other stuff with outside temperatures of minus 45 degrees Celsius. By the way, I'm not in Antarctica, I'm in my dorm room in Europe and it's pretty hot here. Now we are gonna look at the greenhouse in detail and find out why it's the ideal research place for growing food on the moon, Mars and space travels in general. But first things first, I need to make something clear. Greenhouse is a weird name for a shipping container, so I'm not calling it that. Also, the real name of this container, at an ISS mobile test facility, is too long. So I'm just gonna call him Fred. Our big boy Fred here was manufactured by a plethora of companies, but the main institution behind it is the German Aerospace Center DLR. And here is how the logistics of getting Fred from Germany to Antarctica went down. So on October 8th, 2017, Fred, cruelly dismantled into two pieces, onboarded a big cargo ship that was heading to Cape Town from Hamburg. Now, even though Fred is a pretty big fella, weighing in at 12 meters long, he was quite scared from the 11 week sea adventure that had just begun. He never traveled so far for so long before and didn't know what to expect. Nevertheless, Fred sailed bravely and stayed completely calm even when some of the older, much more experienced shipping containers were panicking due to the bad weather. After 11 weeks and a few additional days of delay thanks to the weather, Fred arrived at Cape Town. Down, where he onboarded yet another ship. This time it was the South African icebreaker Agulha II, which took Fred to his final destination. He arrived in two pieces and was manhandled by a giant crane along with some other stuff. Then he was towed by two snowcats to his already standing base 20 kilometers from the port. The engineers then assembled him and now the real fun starts. As you might have already guessed, Fred is a module fella. And luckily for us, he once went to a container doctor to get an x-ray, so we'll now take a peek inside. In the right corner, a completely isolated grow room with aeroponic racks, meaning that the plant roots just hang in the air and are misted every few minutes with a nutrient solution, state-of-the-art grow lights, water tanks in the floor, and a closed air recycling system that collects all the water that plants release into the air and feeds it back to them. A similar system is on the ISS. Fred also has bottles with compressed CO2 which is used to make Make the plants grow better. And on the left side we have the service area. It houses systems for greenhouse control, air and heat management, the nutrient supply system and a workstation for pre and post harvest preparation. And what is particularly handy is the airlock. It's this small room that provides storage and an air buffer to limit the entry of cold air. Now, for all of you watching that are curious, the temperature in the growth chamber was kept at around 20 to 25 degrees celsius and the main heating system where the lights. Also, Fred is a really high-tech greenhouse that can be operated from anywhere in the world. So the DLR scientists were checking on him from Bremen in Germany pretty often. In just one year he was able to grow 270 kilos of veggies on just 12.5 square meters of growing area. And if I were to convert these values into the imperial system, it would be a completely different set of numbers. I would say that over the years, Fred really became a legitimate member of the the Neumeyer 3 crew, which is the German Antarctic Research Station, since he provided all the other members with fresh veggies every day. And that's a blessing in polar conditions. But as all stories do, this one also has an end. As of now, Fred has retired from his active duty in Antarctica and is back in Germany. But there is nothing to worry about.